one thing I learned from watching the January 6th hearings is that um, Donald Trump really demonstrated a weakness of the squad, people like AOC and Cory Bush and the Democrats in general. I don't think anyone else is going to recognize an amazing feature of the way Donald Trump does things. I don't think anyone else is going to pick up on this. But I, I and if you haven't watched the hearings, I recommend that you do. But for those of you that have watched them, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, minus the illegality of the stuff that Trump was doing, his core strategy is one that I keep talking about and recommending. When I call out the squad, when I call out AOC, this is one of the fundamental reasons that I find in terms of a flaw with the squad and that liberals refuse to accept and realize. Every time they always say, now is not the time, right? You can't have everything exactly the way you want. Fraud, Nina Turner with her bullshit excuses. You don't know how politics works. Right? Baby steps. We're gonna, we gotta build up a coalition and we gotta this and that. Every excuse for why they don't fight. So what is the thing that Donald Trump does better than the entire squad, in my view? What is the lesson that the Democrats could take from Donald Trump based on what we're learning in the hearings? Again, minus the illegality of what he was doing, minus the unconstitutionality of what he was doing, the thing that Donald Trump is far superior, in my view, to the squad and to the Democrats with, based on what we're finding out that he did behind the scenes, is he fought. Now, he was not really worried about the Constitution, not worried about the country, not worried about collateral damage, damage to the country, not worried about ruining the lives of Americans. And I'm not suggesting that the Democrats do those things. The key element that I'm highlighting is can't stop, won't stop, get it, get it. Where or when can we get a squad in the Democratic Party, Independent Party, I don't care what party you're in, when can we get it? Can't stop, won't stop, get it, get it. Donald Trump kept trying and trying. People said, no, we're not gonna steal this election. This is unconstitutional. I will not be a part of this fraud. Donald Trump went to somebody else. They said, no, I'm not going to do it. Then he goes to somebody else. They say, no. Then he tries something else. He's asking this person, can we do this? Can we do this other thing? Okay, what about this thing? Now, forget about, again, the illegality of what he did. Forget about the, the lack of intelligence. I mean, the guy's a buffoon, right? So not very clever in his strategy and his tactical approach. So what I'm highlighting is not those things. What I'm highlighting is the tenacity. Can't stop, won't stop, get it, get it. When will AOC or the squad or the Democrats take the same approach within the bounds of the law right up to the very edge of the law? You gotta find a legal loophole, whatever. 
find a way to get it done. This is what I'm trying to get liberals to understand because the, the Democrats do is they do a half-assed, like minimal attempt to accomplish what they're trying to accomplish. And then they run into the tiniest of roadblock and it's like, ah, okay, we tried. Right? And people are like, no, you got to do something. Well, you know, parliamentary and, and this and that. And, and you don't know how this stuff works. That is the thing that Donald Trump absolutely destroys the squad and the Democrats on. Again, put aside the illegality, put aside the buffoonery, the fact that he was the can't stop, won't stop, get it, get it, right? Can we get a, a party, fuck the Democrats, can we get a party that will fight? You try one thing, you have a backup plan, a backup plan for the backup plan, you, you adjust the strategy, you push this, you push that, you, you, you run into the obstacle, you go and you come up with another method, another tactic, and you keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing until you get the results. That is what we put you in power for. We elect you to get the job done. I don't wanna hear about Republican this, Republican that. I don't wanna hear about Joe Manchin. Fuck Joe Manchin. Joe Manchin is so fraudulent. There's so much stuff. Go after him. Go after this guy. Investigate him. Get him locked up. If he's, if he's breaking a law, if he's doing some unethical stuff, you bring the weight of the law on him, right? I don't want to hear excuses. Donald Trump, as much of a buffoon and a liar and a fraud as he was, the tenacity that he has is what we need from our politicians who will join that or merge that with a, an ethical framework. Right, so you have the same tenacity, the same can't stop, won't stop attitude, but a legal and ethical foundation that that is built upon. That is what we need. And until we get it, nothing's getting done. You're not going to accomplish anything in this divided country with our broken systems, with any half-ass bullshit, plenty of rhetoric, not so much on the actions. Get it together. Get it together. The other thing I try to get liberals to understand is that the reason that they fail is not because they're not smart enough. It's because, in my view, they don't want to succeed. They're playing games. They are careerists. They are in it for themselves. All they care about is how much money and power that they can accumulate. They are not working for us. They love when there's an excuse. They love when there's an obstacle because that gets them out of actually doing their jobs. Stop falling for the bullshit. This is the Baby Child, the Baby Comment section below. Click on the like button, subscribe, smash that bell. Well.